Health is a crucially important social and economic asset, a cornerstone for human development. Health is also viewed as a fundamental human right. The pharmaceutical industry is valuable as it is a major source of medical innovation. It is also a heavily regulated market. Drugs are evaluated for safety, efficiency and manufacturing quality as a condition of market access. Indeed, a lot happens behind the scenes before medicine gets to you. Hello and welcome to another edition of Bazaar. In light of the recent coronavirus epidemic, the pharmaceutical industry has become a main focus in the country. In this program, we will explore the lucrative pharmaceutical industry and its related trades. We wanted to see how this industry is working in the domestic market as well as understand its activities in international markets. So, don't go anywhere, whatever you do. In order to gain a deeper understanding of this industry, we visited a company located in Pardis Technology Park, which is one of the biggest innovative bases near Tehran. Biopol Group is a pharmaceutical company that mainly focuses on prevention and detection of different sorts of viruses, but its activities don't end there. In 2019, when the Eastern Mediterranean region was experiencing its greatest upsurge in measles cases, the World Health Organization gave Iran the certificate for measles and rubella elimination. Iran is the third country in the Eastern Mediterranean region that has achieved the status of measles elimination. In the fight against measles, this company joined the battle with other major pharma companies by producing measles and rubella vaccines that have helped sustain high population immunity in the country. This knowledge-based company, first established in 2011, produces pharmaceuticals and in vitro diagnostic products for clinical diagnostic research. These diagnostic processes are performed in test tubes, culture dishes or elsewhere outside a living organism. Its high-tech products include testing kits, culture media and reagents. It might be interesting to know that this company also sells products and services for veterinary diagnostics, food control as well as environmental and hygiene control to the global market. But it's not just the coronavirus one should be mindful of. During the fall and winter, the flu begins biting ankles. Getting the flu is always a nuisance because it means staying home. Many people gear up for the flu season, which occurs during autumn and winter by getting flu shots. In December, just about 273 people were admitted to hospitals because of complications from the flu with the arrival of the cold season. After the outbreak of coronavirus, we started to uh, be active in uh, branch of uh, production of disinfectant material uh, such as uh, uh, disinfectant material for skin and disinfectant material for surface and uh, we uh, produce uh, about uh, 1000 liter per day and uh, we could uh, cover the shortage of uh, disinfectant material in uh, east of Tehran. This firm has a human vaccine production line with more than 3,500 square meters of clean rooms and advanced equipment. It has the annual capacity of producing more than 20 million doses of human vaccines on the basis of GMP requirements and also WHO standards. Currently, trivalent and quadrivalent seasonal influenza vaccines are considered as the main products in the vaccine production line. Getting a fast diagnosis can allow for the possibility for quick treatment. A plethora of viral infections ranging from the flu to HPV to HIV can be tested with rapid test kits, which are also manufactured at this company. They are designed for use where a preliminary screening test result is required and are especially useful in resource-limited settings. This company also produces infusion solutions, for example, electrolyte and glucose fluids. Infusion therapy medication is usually administered through needles or catheter. These are popular treatments among people who suffer from severe dehydration or heat exhaustion. 
Among the essential products of Infusion Solutions, this company produces blood volume replacement solutions and Infusion Solution Pharmaceuticals. These products are used by practitioners when a casualty loses a large quantity of blood fluids as a result of injury and shock. Manufacturers of pharmaceuticals such as this one produce everything in advanced production facilities based on the latest know-how. Its productions follow strict national and international licenses and permits. It produces a vast number of uniformly high quality products which are meticulously tested in its large quality control and research and development department. As the world of viruses is constantly changing, its R&D stays up to date by continuously developing new in vitro diagnostic kits using modern technologies. در این مجموعه که مشاهده می کنید همکاران بنده در حال تولید محلول های دست و پوست و سطح سوژو هستیم روند این مجموعه به طوری است که از قسمت دپوی اتاق الکل انتقال پیدا می کنه به این بخش و تو قسمت ساخت تولید محلول به وسیله آب آر و الکل اتانول و همچنین اساس و مواد نگهدارنده تولید میشه بعد از تولید انتقال میکنه به آزمایشگاه برای مراحل تست بعد از این که تست انجام شد و نهایی شد اجازه به اصطلاح فیلینگ و پروسه فیلینگ انجام میشه بعد از اون لیبل خورده میشه بسته بند میشه و به بیرون مجموعه انتقال پیدا Our products uh, produced according to a standard of a WHO and another ISO that we could achieve uh, during these uh, four years, such as 1385 uh, ISO, ISO 17025, 17025, and another ISOs that we uh, do according to these uh, standards. And the quality of uh, our material was uh, approved by uh, laboratory, standard laboratory in Iran. About 97% of drugs required domestically are produced in Iran. There is a small amount of drugs for specific ailments such as cancers and MS that Iran imports. Iran produces 3,000 drugs in 4,000 pharmaceutical variations. Currently, Iran has 15 pharmaceutical faculties which train multitudes of pharmacists and researchers each year. Also, there are over 120 pharmaceutical companies that produce medicine and 70 factories that produce raw pharmaceutical materials. Knowledge-based companies such as this one meet nearly all of the domestic demand for medicine, which saves Iran $550 million annually. Medicine production capacity in Iran is nearly five times more than the domestic requirement. Iran exports pharmaceuticals to 40 countries in Europe, Africa, Asia and the Americas. By seeking new markets, Iran can reduce expenses of domestic pharmaceutical companies and lower the cost of medicine for domestic consumers. It might be interesting to know that prices for medicine in Iran are relatively low in comparison to Europe or the United States. For instance, a quadrivalent influenza vaccine is sold without insurance coverage in local Iranian pharmacies for $2.6 with an exchange rate of 15700 while the same vaccine in the US without insurance coverage costs roughly $522. This disparity in prices is due to the fact that Iran heavily subsidizes healthcare and treatment. The, the sanction has two effects in our product. The first one was uh, uh, promote us to, to produce this uh, material by ourselves. And the second one was, it was uh, some uh, difficulties for, for importing uh, raw material and uh, trans, uh, transport of uh, money to, to other countries. That was uh, the uh, difficulties of uh, sanction of the USA, but we could overcome these uh, problems too, and we are uh, produced now many, many, many products in our company.
Despite pressures from sanctions, Iran's domestic pharma market was worth $3.3 billion last year. Iran's pharmaceutical industries are thriving, and it is not surprising how far it has expanded while offering a multitude of investment opportunities. Its exports last year were worth $50 million. Iran registers an average of 12% increase in pharmaceutical manufacturing every year. Last year, production rose by 40%. Uh, in the uh, Middle East area, uh, is a good uh, capability uh, for, for uh, having a big market for uh, influenza vaccine and other vaccine. We have a, a contract with a, a French, uh, French company for producing uh, two kinds of uh, vaccine, human vaccine. And uh, another uh, Indian company asked us about a joint plan for, uh, for, uh, for producing two million influenza vaccine per year. Due to a fairly advanced healthcare system and the presence of substantial numbers of specialty physicians for providing secondary and tertiary medical interventions, Iran's pharmaceutical market has good potential for expansion in light of post-sanctions era. Also, it might be interesting to know that Iran has one of the largest capacities of production of generic medicines in the Middle East and MENA region. Iran also has very strong biopharmaceutical production as a result of demanding high-tech biopharmaceutical medicines, both by prescribers and patients, the market has drastically grown in the recent decade. Iranian biopharmaceuticals have been exported to major customers like Russia, Iraq, Malaysia and Turkey, among others. Also, the Biotechnology Development Headquarters at the Iranian Vice Presidency for Science and Technology has plans underway to transfer Iranian biopharmaceuticals technology to Argentina. By producing uh, influenza vaccine and human vaccine, we have no uh, competitor in Iran and in this area uh, because the most uh, company which uh, produce influenza vaccine are uh, in uh, Europe and uh, uh, USA. And we are uh, unique in uh, uh, Middle East area. And by, uh, by disinfectant material, there is many, many, many factory that produce disinfectant material. Uh, but uh, because of this uh, corona outbreak, uh, we could come to this uh, market. The biotech pharmaceutical products made by the domestic knowledge-based companies and startups in Iran is worth billions. About 67% of raw materials for the pharmaceutical industry in Iran is provided by local companies. Imposing high tariffs on imported medicines is one of the major policies that the government of Iran implemented to support the local pharmaceutical industry. The Ministry of Health and Medical Education emphasizes that this policy will benefit patients. By improving availability, patients can access locally manufactured biopharmaceuticals for effective treatment of chronic and life-threatening diseases. In addition to the presence of a countrywide primary healthcare system, secondary and tertiary medical Oh, yes, the second one is, but it's all blurry. Left, down, oh, third one, the third one is, the third one is left, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> I'm having some balance problems. Um, I should adjust the trial lenses, probably.
Uh, the optometrist just told me that um, vision plays a pivotal role in our ability to orient ourselves in space and also balance in our everyday activities like walking, which explains why I was having this balance problem. Anyway, some bad news for me. After having my eyes tested, it turned out that apparently I'm suffering from amblyopia. Is that a word? Yeah, amblyopia, which means um, lazy eye. Um, this is a vision development uh, disorder that uh, usually begins in early childhood. And what happens is the brain fails to process inputs from usually one of the eyes and over time favors the other eye. Um, if this disorder is not detected and treated early, um, after some time, the brain fails to process the information and ignores the information from the affected eye forever, and the affected eye will never achieve the normal visual acuity, uh, which means I'm, in theory at least, half blind, and I only see through my right eye. I found it really hard to admit it to myself. There's nothing I can do about it, so I think I gotta go and talk to a senior ophthalmologist, and hopefully I will find a way to correct my vision. When I was in the waiting room, I noticed that some patients have traveled a long way to get here and undergo surgery or receive other ophthalmology services. This shows that Iran has come a long way to present itself as a leading health and medical tourism destination. Compared to its neighboring countries and regional rivals, medical services in Iran are in fact very cost competitive. Last year, between 500 and 550,000 tourists visited Iran from neighboring countries for medical purposes. A large number of these tourists seek ophthalmology services in Iran, and many of them are provided with such services here at Bina Hospital. The hospital's chief executive officer believes, with the help of professional specialists and skilled staff, this center is ready to provide ophthalmology treatments that are tailored to each patient's unique need, whether it's an assessment of minor eyesight problems or help with life-changing ophthalmic conditions health tourists or local patients can get the eye care they need to improve their health and vision. The CEO says health tourism is of great benefit to the country's economy, and a comparison of the costs of eye surgeries in Iran and elsewhere in the world indicates how economical it would be for health tourists to choose Iran as their medical tourism destination. <laughs> مبالغی که از توریست ها و یا مراجعین خارجی دریافت می کنیم حتی معادل مبالغی که حتی در کشور هند که به لحاظ توریسم درمان یکی از قطب های جهانی هست قابل رقابته یعنی ما مبالغ بیشتری دریافت نمی کنیم و به نسبت کشوری مثل ترکیه یا امارات عربی متحده مطمئنا به مراتب ارزان تر هستیم with eight state-of-the-art operating rooms, Bina Hospital provides a wide array of surgical treatments, including refractive, retinal, cataract, and glaucoma surgeries, to just name a few. Other services are also available, and these fall generally into four categories, from clinical and paraclinical to cosmetic and oculoplastic and other general services. The hospital has both private and double occupancy rooms, which are assigned depending on availability and the patient's medical needs. The hospital, which is the first private ophthalmology service provider in the east of Iran, enjoys the expertise of 47 doctors and specialists and employs more than 500 people. Check this out. I love my outfit. We are in the surgery department. At this hospital, different kinds of surgeries are done, and now I'm going to be talking about one of them in particular. Let's start with some basic facts. Fact number one. The purpose of the lens inside your eyes is to bend or refract light rays which come into your eyes in order to help you see. Fact number two, if the lens is not clear, then you cannot see clearly, which is referred to as a cataract. Uh, having a cataract can be like looking through a dusty or foggy car windshield. Things may look blurry and uh, less colorful. Fact number three, the only way to remove a cataract is with surgery. During a cataract surgery, your cloudy natural lens is replaced with a clear artificial lens. تمام عمل جراحی چشم اونجا انجام میشه ما هیچ نوع عمل جراحی رو که 
در مراکز دیگه دنیا انجام بشه و اینجا نتونیم انجام بشیم نداریم علا رقمی که توی تحریم بودیم در حال با همت همکاران تونستیم این تکنولوژی رو اینجا جمع بکنیم پزشکانی که اینجا فعالیت میکنن متخصصین چشم پزشکی و فلوشیب های مختلف در رشته های مختلف چشم پزشکی هستن ببینید یکی از برنامه های یه بیمارستان های این چنین میتونه این باشه که ما هم داریم و انجام هم دادیم تا الان اینه که در بخش علمی و تولید علم دستی داشته باشیم و این جز برنامه ها و اهداف ماست که تا کنون ما در چندین برنامه علمی که در سطح کشور و بین المللی انجام شده دخالت داشت This super specialty eye hospital played host to the 29th edition of the annual Congress of Irania Society of Ophthalmology. It was the first time that this event had been held outside the capital Tehran. As per tradition, as well as symposiums, instructional courses, nursing programs and seminars, a live surgery was performed during the event. Surgeons from Bina Hospital played a major role in the surgery which was done on a closed circuit television linked between an audience of surgeons and a nearby operating room. Coma, retinol. Give it up. Long less. They perform an awful lot of different surgeries here. But surprisingly enough, despite all the services they offer, they couldn't help me with my simple amblyopia. And what made it worse was that I couldn't get anything to eat here, which is ridiculous. Such a letdown. I should go and ask them to give me my money back. I mean, what's the use of all this? But at the same time, you know what? I didn't get disappointed because I thought to myself, there should be a way, and I gotta go find it. Now it's time for our news in review. With the coronavirus outbreak last month, people were advised to stay indoors to protect themselves against infection. This has made it difficult for many businesses. As a result, many startups and smaller knowledge-based companies, tech firms, are being forced to reduce staff and are on the verge of bankruptcy. The Ministry of Information and Communication Technologies, ICT, announced that it will offer low-interest loans and aid packages to restore their businesses. Also, the Iran National Innovation Fund is planning to pay $322 million in loans to knowledge-based companies and tech firms to help boost their operations. Iran's central bank has also expressed willingness to allocate financial support to help the tech ecosystem flourish. There are just under 5,000 active knowledge-based companies nationwide, with over 300,000 employees. Iran has taken big strides in its biotechnological medicine. Biotech is helping to heal the world by harnessing nature's own toolbox and using our own genetic makeup to heal and guidelines of research. There are currently 140 biomedicines in the global market, of which 22 items are available and locally produced in Iran. About eight new human vaccines and 17 new livestock vaccines will be released into the market this spring. Also, 50 raw pharmaceutical materials and 14 biotech medicines will be manufactured and released into the market this year. Vaccines produced for poultry and livestock would help decrease the country's dependence on imports of these items. Iran's domestically produced biotech medicine has placed the country as a top producer in the region in terms of medical capacity. As COVID-19 cases spike, the testing needed to help stem the spread of the disease remains globally below what is needed to address the growing outbreak. Healthcare workers across the globe are reporting shortages of reagents and kits used to conduct coronavirus tests in laboratories. Iran has also been experiencing medical supply shortages. While Iran is stepping up its production of medical protective supplies and testing kits, the country has received medical supplies from foreign aid, boosting Iran's ability to contain the outbreak. The Biotechnology Development Headquarters of Iran's Vice Presidency for Science and Technology has called for innovation in biotech knowledge-based firms to help defeat the coronavirus. Two basic knowledge-based projects have been submitted for the production of Iranian diagnostic kits in the early days of the outbreak. These testing kits have been produced and work correctly.
Well, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in this week, and make sure you visit our Instagram and leave us a comment or send us a message about what you think of this industry. Also, if you have a topic that you're curious about, just let us know. Stay safe and wash your hands frequently. I know I will. I'm Samson Sees. Sees you next time on Bazaar.